Jeddah Tower finally restarts construction. After years of delays, financial uncertainty, and countless headlines, Jeddah Tower is finally back on track. Imagine a building so tall it's poised to dominate the sky, claiming the title of the world's tallest structure at over one kilometer high. But here's the twist. Its construction has been stalled for nearly a decade, leaving engineers, investors, and the world's tallest building enthusiasts wondering if it would ever rise. Now, with construction restarting, the question isn't just whether it will reach completion, it's whether it will live up to its legendary expectations or become yet another cautionary tale of mega-project ambition. A colossus of steel and glass. Jeddah Tower isn't just tall, it's a vertical marvel that redefines the skyline of Saudi Arabia and the imagination of architects worldwide. Its design incorporates luxury residences, hotels, office spaces, and observation decks all stacked in an elegant, tapered form that aims to pierce the clouds. But building something this massive is more than an aesthetic endeavor. It's a complex puzzle of engineering, material science, and logistical planning. Wind forces at these altitudes, the pressure of supporting over a million tons of structure, and the challenge of vertical transportation push engineers into uncharted territory. Every beam, every glass panel, every elevator shaft is a statement that humans can attempt the impossible. But the risks are immense. Why construction stalled and why it's back? Delays in mega projects are normal, but Jetta Tower's decade-long hiatus was extraordinary. Financial hurdles, investor hesitations, and the sheer complexity of engineering, such an ambitious building created a perfect storm for stalling. Some even speculated the tower might never be finished. But now, construction is moving again, fueled by renewed investment and advances in building technology that were unavailable when work first began. This isn't just a restart of concrete and steel, it's a restart of ambition itself, a bold message to the world that even projects that seem impossible can be revived with patience, vision, and determination. Engineering wonders and unprecedented challenges. Building the world's first kilometer high tower comes with problems no conventional skyscraper faces. Imagine the stress on the foundation, the sway at the top floors, and the need for elevators that travel at speeds approaching 20 meters per second. Engineers are also pioneering ways to supply water, electricity, and air circulation across more than 200 floors, all while accounting for extreme desert heat and occasional sandstorms. It's a constant battle between physics, materials, and human ambition. Every decision, how wide to make the base, what alloys to use, how to manage wind loads, could define whether the tower becomes a symbol of engineering triumph or a cautionary tale. Economic stakes and global interest. The financial scale of Jeddah Tower is staggering, with costs in the billions and investors from across the globe betting on its success. Its completion could transform Jeddah into a tourist hub, attract global business, and cement Saudi Arabia as a leader in futuristic urban design. But with that ambition comes enormous risk. A failure or delay could ripple across industries, from construction firms to financial markets. It's not just a building, it's a multi-billion dollar economic experiment on display for the entire world. Every floor completed will be watched with bated breath by investors, engineers, and skyscraper enthusiasts alike. Environmental and social considerations Constructing a kilometer-high tower in a desert city is not only an engineering challenge, it's an environmental and social one. Cooling systems must function efficiently, water and energy must be managed sustainably, and vertical urban living must adapt to human needs. Living and working hundreds of floors above ground raises questions about lifestyle, community, and psychological well-being. Designers are experimenting with sky gardens, open-air terraces, and shared spaces to make life vertical feel human. Jeddah Tower isn't just an architectural marvel. It's a social experiment in living at extreme heights, global symbolism, and the race to the sky. Jeddah Tower represents more than steel and glass. It's a symbol of Saudi Arabia's ambition, vision, and willingness to compete on a global stage. In a world where height is equated with prestige, this tower challenges the Burj Khalifa, and redefines what is possible in megastructure engineering. But its symbolism is double-edged. 
Some see it as an inspiring testament to human creativity. Others, as a monument to extravagance in a region where everyday challenges persist. Either way, the world is watching as Jeddah Tower rises, potentially rewriting the record books and the very skyline of our planet. Vertical Urban Living Redefined Jeddah Tower isn't just a skyscraper. It's an entire city compressed into a single vertical structure. Imagine living hundreds of floors above the ground with offices, hotels, and residences stacked like layers of a cake. Vertical urban planning comes with unique challenges. How do you create community spaces that feel alive when people are literally living on top of one another? Sky gardens, observation decks, and communal areas are being designed to mimic horizontal urban life. But this is a radical experiment in human adaptability. It's not just about going up. It's about creating a functioning, sustainable society miles above the Earth. Sustainability at extreme heights. Constructing a kilometer-high tower in the desert isn't just a feat of engineering. It's a sustainability challenge of epic proportions. Cooling, ventilation, and energy systems must function efficiently across hundreds of floors while managing desert heat, dust, and occasional sandstorms. Rainwater collection and desalination are being integrated into the design, along with solar and possibly wind energy solutions. While critics question whether such a massive structure can ever truly be environmentally friendly, the innovations tested here could shape the future of skyscraper sustainability globally. Construction Technology and Innovation Restarting Jetta Tower's construction required more than funding. It demanded technological innovation. Engineers are using cutting-edge materials and modular construction techniques to save time, reduce weight, and enhance structural integrity. Advanced cranes, robotic systems, and 3D modeling are being employed to manage construction that literally reaches the clouds. Every beam and panel must be precision engineered, and mistakes could be catastrophic. The tower as a global icon. Beyond height and engineering, Jeddah Tower is a symbol of ambition on the world stage. It represents Saudi Arabia's desire to diversify its economy, attract global talent, and cement itself as a leader in futuristic urban development. But symbolism comes with scrutiny. International observers weigh its environmental impact, social implications, and financial risks. Its completion could redefine global skylines and inspire a new era of mega skyscrapers. But it also raises questions about priorities and the balance between innovation and extravagance. If you're fascinated by jaw-dropping mega projects, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most extreme architecture, and comment below. Would you dare to live at the top of the world in a building that defies imagination?